Hey guys, Daniel here from the Gig Rig and I'm so proud to be able to show you G2 today. Uh, in this first video we're going to be looking at setting G2 up on your pedal board and basic programming. All of the audio connections are located on the back panel of G2. This is where you plug in your guitar, your amplifiers and of course all of your effects. Once everything is connected, creating your sounds is a very simple and quick process. Okay, so sorting out the presets really couldn't be any easier. Simply press the foot switch that you want to program and then turn on the effects loops. So let's say number three, I just want to have my king of tone, which is in loop six. Just turn on loop six and there it is. Let's say number five, I want to have my compressor, um, some chorus and a bit of stereo delay. that simple so I can go from my you know heavy straight to my Andy Summers so you see here we have different outputs okay we've got two outputs we also have two stereo effects loops so output 2 I've got going to my uh, laser J J20 and then output 1 I've got going to my old uh, Vox AC10 twin okay so I can have one sound set up with the Vox then go to this sound here and then turn on the laser J but of course I can have both the amplifiers on. There's also a phase button here, so output 2, which is of course isolated, so you don't get earth loops, and it's also phase reversible, so... Yeah, flipping the phase on output 2 there. So no matter what amplifiers you're using, using two amplifiers together, you can always make sure they're in phase. See here, I have four remote switches here, which means that I can have, you know, a, an amplifier with lots of channels, or they want to switch on and off the reverb and the tremolo from the amplifier. You can do it all here via these remote switches. Again, simply press the foot switch you want to set up and turn on and off the remote switches with the functions that you want to use. G2's splash-proof top panel means you no longer have to fear the drunken lout who can't hold on to his pint. The pre-gain level is the gain going into the pedal, so here's my king of tone. If I turn the pre-gain on and have it nice and quiet, you see how the gain going into the pedal has turned it down. But if I turn it up, just hold my finger on there, see it's starting to get gainier, so a bit more. So, you know, I can turn the pre-gain right up, which is a gain of times three. Turn the pre-gain off and you can hear the difference. Okay, turn it back on again. Now I look at the post-gain. The post-gain is a volume control after the effects loop, so after the pedal. So, what this gives me is like a master volume control, okay? So, if I want to take that sound and not change the sound, not change the gain structure going into it, I want to use the same sound for a solo, 
So in the post game. Okay, the most obvious difference between G2 and the Pro 14 systems is the size. The KG2 is less than half the size, you know, more room for pedals, which is just great. MIDI in and MIDI out, so it can be controlled or you can control um, anything that's got a MIDI on it. So, for example, I can set up my presets to control my timeline. Okay, so once you have all your sounds set up, um, you've got, you know, your, all your stomp box mode sounds set up, um, you, you know, these different outputs, stereo effects, everything's in phase, all your volume things sorted out you know whether the sound is going to be buffered or not once you have all those 15 presets sorted out and you need some more sounds just hit this bank up switch on the back of the unit there is a quarter inch input jack so you can do this remotely and you get another 15 sounds okay a really common question that I was asked with the Pro 14s and the MIDI 8s and things was where do I put my volume pedal now I've actually included a volume loop insert with G2 Okay, and it's actually turned on with the post game feature. So, here is my sound at the moment. I just have some delay in an overdrive pedal. Okay, to use the volume pedal, turn on the post gain, set the maximum level that you want to go to. So, I'm giving that a little bit of a boost. Now, Now the great thing about this is you can use any volume pedal, passive or active. The post gain will actually drive that so you won't get any tone loss. Another great thing with that loop is that you can use that with your amplifiers send and return so that you can have some effects in the amplifiers effects loop and some effects in the front. Well there you go, I hope that has at least answered some of your questions. Um, you know, the reality is we've only scratched the surface of what G2 is capable of. Uh, and I'm sure you'll all be blowing our minds with what you're doing with G2 in the very near future. Um, ten years ago, uh, when we first filed the patent for our Pro 14, and in that ten years since the Pro 14 has been on the market, and it was, you know has become the industry standard, you know we've worked with some truly incredible musicians, and it's you know been such an amazing experience. And the knowledge that we have gained in that decade of working with just these incredible people. Every bit of that knowledge has gone to G2. You know, for example, you know, one question that we were asked was, is there a way that I can have my effects behind the amplifier or off stage um, and to be controlled but, you know, by the switching system at the front? And with G2, yes you can. Um, the back panel where your effects plug into in G2 is detachable. Okay, and that will fit into the extension box which we're releasing later this year and that will go into a rack or will go into a separate pedal board with all your effects and all you'll have on stage is G2 and as some of you know um, I'm more than a little bit obsessed with the idea of sonic purity you know with the original Pro 14's we were able to bypass the load of effects that weren't being used and the load of the, even the patch leads that weren't being used but with G2 we've taken that to a whole new level where we're even bypassing the relays that aren't being used um, you know, we've developed this true bypass matrix switching system that is the heart of the G2. So in effect, it actually bypasses itself. It bypasses any parts that aren't being used. It's really amazing. More information on that on the website. Um, but yeah, we're so proud of this and we know that you guys are going to love it. Thank you for watching. Any questions, please get in touch and uh, we'll do our best to get you sorted out. Okay, thanks and have a fantastic day.